Okay, today we're going to have a look at a Myford cylindrical grinder. This is a machine made in England, very compact, has a lot of features. Uh, this particular machine is a model HAR. Uh, this machine has automatic infeed uh, with the table reversal only. It doesn't have an automatic plunge feed, but it does have an automatic uh, wheel slide uh, retraction and advance uh, through a hydraulic system. That whereas the wheel head goes back about an inch and a half or so uh, at the end of the cycle. It also has a manual way of doing that um, with this lever here to bring it forward and bring it back. On other people who have other MIFIDs, as you probably know, uh, you would crank this three or four times back just to take your workpiece off and then come back three or four cranks so you knew just about where you were. This kind of eliminates that, so they, they added that feature, or at least on this model. Uh, currently it's wired for 220 volts. You've got the coolant tank on the side here that plugs in to the machine and your, your hydraulic unit. The well, pump is running right now. I'm going to go ahead and start the table. And when you start the table, you could also now uh, bring in the wheel slide. And there's a switch on the right side, left side of the machine here which would start the workhead. And the workhead is controlled by the switch up here. This light here and this potentiometer are for your spark out. Now there is an automatic cycle, like I said, in the traverse grinding mode. And when you get down to zero on the hand wheel, there is a uh, limit switch that gets made. The lamp will come on momentarily and indicating that the spark out has started. And when it gets to the left side or the right side, it's going to uh, retract the wheel. Uh, you need to back up your hand wheel manually and disengage the feed. Now you see this little lever going up and down here, that, that's part of your feed. So when I go ahead and turn this on, we get the feed. Now there's a selector switch here to say if you want to feed on the right side or the left side. Now it won't feed over here, but it will feed over here. And in the center position, it doesn't feed at all. Then you have a tarry or a dwell. You have a fine infeed, table speed. You can speed this up or slow it down. And I send the, send the slide back. Now in the, in the automatic mode, this uh, handle on the side, let me start the grinding wheel. This handle on the side automatically starts the workhead and brings the slide in. I can control the speed of the workhead with this potentiometer. This is a live and a dead spindle on here. In other words, you can use a chuck or a collet or a dead center. Uh, so the spindle rotates or you can lock it and just the driver, outside driver rotates. And this, like I said, is variable. So now this is fed in and once I engage the feed, you're going to start to feed down uh, whatever side I select. So let's say we want the tailstock side, so I'll move it. Uh, it's going to feed on the headstock side this way. There's a little picture here, I just can't see it right too clearly. So now it feeds. And this is going to feed down to what you've got set as zero. I mean, you figured this out already manually. Now you're going to do an automatic. I mean, you don't have to. You could do this all by hand. I would recommend that for the first few parts. I'm just going to speed it along a little bit here. So now, if you keep your, if you look at the light on the on the console there, when this gets down to zero. The light comes on. And the head kicks out. And the work head stops. So that's your automatic cycle. You could also plunge grind with the machine or have a chuck on here or a face plate and you have an in and an out that you could use here and you turn the switch upside down and now you start your workhead like that. It's a unique switch from Mifrin. In the bottom position 
It manually turns the work head on and off. And in the top position, it's used to turn the work head on and bring the wheel slide in as well. Okay, that's about it for this Myford. It's a great little machine, nice and quiet. Hope you like the video. Thank you very much.